I wanted to do a little post canning follow up because I haven't been diligent about doing that and I know it's helpful for new canners. So these are the Christmas jams that I canned up yesterday and I wanted to show you what these look like this morning. This is the next morning. I removed the rings and as you can see the tabs are all popped down. You can tell when you give them a little tap they have a nice solid sound. So they've all sealed. You can also check your seal by lifting the jar up by the lid. If the lid does not pop off, it sounds solid, you're good to go. So the next thing I'm going to need to do, you could put uh, a tablespoon of vinegar in your canning water when you have hard water like we do, but I always wash my jars off anyway, and I don't get too much film even though we've got hard water here. But occasionally you get little water spots and that kind of stuff on the lids or on the glass. So I'm going to wash these all with soap and water. Uh, I'm not going to bore you by doing it on camera. And then we're going to mark on the lids here with a, um, with a Sharpie. I'm going to put Christmas Jam. And I may put a label to make them look prettier because we're going to, um, we're going to gift these. I have a nice set of labels like this that I can use. Different Christmassy colors, red, blue. It has a space there where you can uh, write the name of the product, the date that you canned it, and then this peels off and goes on the top of the jar here. So that's really nice. And what I do with these rings, I wash these. If they show any sign of uh, food bubbling over or anything, now these this was a good session and the, the rings are pretty clean, so I'll probably just wipe these down. But you don't want these to stay in water for an extended period of time or they will rust, they're steel. Um, you don't put them through the dishwasher, the dishwasher will corrode them. They can be reused. So what I do is I make sure these are clean and dry, and then I have a box in my uh, garage where I store my extra rings, and I have quite a collection. So when I gift these jars, I'll probably put a ring back on because people like to have the ring and the lid so that they can use this to reseal the jar when they start using it. But that's what I do with my rings, and if they get too rusty or corroded or if they get dinged up and they don't uh, make a nice contact with the jar lids, then you probably will want to throw them away or do something else with them. So that's what we do with the rings. The lids, I know there are people who, uh, who do reuse their lids. I have not reused lids. I have saved my old lids. If they, I have a, you may have seen me use this tool that I use to pop the lids off the jars. And this pops the lids off and leaves them pretty much intact. It doesn't let them get bent out of shape. So in that case, you could uh, save these lids and in case of an emergency where we don't have lids available, that's why I save my lids. I have a box of lids in the garage and ordinarily I wouldn't use them. These are meant to be one use only, but when times are tough and maybe we have a supply chain issue like we had a year or two ago with COVID and everything, um, you may find that you may need these lids. And I know there's a um, homesteading channel, it's Rose Red Homestead, and she actually did a, uh, an experiment where she took these lids and she put a gasket that she bought from uh, a company that sells reusable lids that are plastic and gaskets, and you can use those lids over and over. So she took those gaskets that that, that, that company sells and used them with these uh, metal lids. And her experiment, I believe after many months, the lid, the jars will st were still sealed and they were good. So, so yay. So I guess you could use reuse these if you had to. It would be better to have a different gasket because the gasket material on these is only meant for one use. It gets kind of uh, melded out of shape and then it doesn't really work reliably. But if you, hey, if you can get it to work again and you're, you're desperate and you need something in a pinch, and we're in a tough time where we don't have lids, you might want to try to use it. The worst that can happen is it won't seal and then you have to refrigerate uh, whatever was in the jar. So that is your post canning follow-up. It's pretty simple actually, pretty basic. 
And uh, if you do have a jar where the lid does not seal for whatever reason, or if you do have a jar that doesn't seal for whatever reason, all you do is put it in your refrigerator. And I generally check my jars as soon as they're cool enough to handle. And if they look like there's going to be any issue with the seal, I'll just put them in the refrigerator then because I don't want them sitting out for 12 or 14 hours and then being refrigerated because I think they'll spoil more quickly. So if it's not going to seal, I want to know right away. So that is what I do, and I hope this is helpful. It's very brief, but I hope it's helpful, helpful to people that are new to canning. Take care and have a great rest of the day. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel, and please hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Have a great rest of the day. Bye now.